wheel imprints found in Sintashta are considered to be an evidence of the existence of a chariot. And Sintashta is credited for the invention of chariots. Despite no actual chariot ever being found in the time period it's claimed. Okay. But an actual chariot has been discovered in Sanawali and it's considered, it's portrayed by the Westerners and various Indian colonized morons as a bullock, bullock cart. Why is there so much intellectual dishonesty? What's my opinion? Okay. First of all, what is the Sintashta thing? Right? So uh, the Sintashta culture is a culture that has been discovered in essentially in Central Asia. Let's let's Google it. Um, it's been discovered in Central Asia. And it is, you know, by the Aryan invasion migration theory folks, it is considered to be the uh, original homeland of the Indo-Iranian. So Sintashta. Sintashta culture. Let's look at the map, what we're talking about. We're talking about this part of the world. So it is Central Asia and almost like Eastern Europe to some extent. That is, it's not. It's obviously not very far from India. And if you look at uh, the kind of uh, archaeological findings there that you find, it's clear that the culture is kind of similar to the ancient Indo-Iranian culture. Now you have these burials there. Okay? Burials. And in the burials, they have discovered the imprints of wheels. So they haven't discovered wheels. They haven't discovered chariots. They've discovered imprints of wheels and, and, and pigments left behind by wheels. And they have interpreted that as the evidence of the presence of chariots. They said that you have two wheels. So these are two wheeled chariots they're talking about. So they said that they have found uh, imprints of two wheels, you know, lined up together. And in those graves, they also find horse sacrifices. So that obviously sounds very much like uh, something the Aryans would do. Us, our people, us and the Iranians. We would, our ancestors sacrificed horses. Deal with it. We did. So, so we have horse sacrifices in these burials. We also have wheels that seem to, you, we also have imprints of wheels that have been interpreted as the evidence of chariots. And various other artifacts that are once again are claimed to tie up in the whole package. Uh, it it, it um, allegedly say, says that there, there were chariots that were being used by the Sintashta people there. Okay. So, based on this circumstantial fragmentary evidence, they say that the Sintashta uh, culture uh, was the originator, was the discoverer and the pioneer of chariot warfare. Now, what have we discovered in Sinaoli? Sinaoli chariot, obviously, right? Sinaoli uh, chariot. Sonali chariot. Sonali chariot. So what's this chariot look like? So this is what it looks like in, in, in the museum. This is how it was discovered. Obviously, you have horses and uh, you have the chariot. Uh, and the chariot is made of copper, right? Now, if you look at the chariot uh, copper tubes. Uh, where do, Okay, look at this. Look at the schematic. It's not quite a schematic, but it's it kind of like an X-ray of what we what we have discovered there. This is what it looks like. So inside the Sinali chariot, you had these copper tubes. The copper was like ninety nine percent pure copper. Okay, almost like super pure copper, and you had the entire chassis. The chassis of the chariot was made of copper tubing. Now, why on earth did these folks, our ancestors, make a chariot out of copper tubing? The chassis. Okay, so let's look at this. Car, chassis, tubes. Check this out. You see this? Modern day car chassis are made of tubes of various kinds of metals maybe it's no longer copper but it's all tubes why tubes because you don't have any corners you don't have any right angles so it is something that people that engineers still use today in modern day cars metal tubes in the sonali chariot had copper tubes essentially ultra pure copper 99 percent pure copper tubes what does pure copper look like? Pure copper roofs. What's it look like? 
check this out this is what it looked like this was the color of those tubes so the chariot glowed like this and it was extremely advanced technology this was a very strong hardy tough chariot it was not a wooden chariot right now why would you make a bullock cart and design it like 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 a formula 1 car please explain to me whatever 2 4000 years ago whenever it was 3 and 1/2000 years ago 